Hi guys, Robert here. After a long wait of almost two months, my deck has finally arrived. Now I can finish my wall build. First, let's see what's inside the box and then I'll show you some features of this deck. So let's turn the deck on and see what we can do. So 38 would be max. These are the inputs. Coaxial, USB and optical. I'll be using my TV with uh, optical and the CD player with coaxial. Now let's connect an amplifier to it. On the back you have your inputs. First one is optical, so you can connect an optical cable to your TV or CD player. Under the optical connection we have a USB type A connection. So with this cable you can connect your deck to your computer or laptop. And finally you have a coaxial connection. You can use that to connect your CD player for example. On the right side you have your XLR connections. So you can connect your deck to an amplifier. And you also have RCA connections which you could for example use to connect your deck to a subwoofer. One of the reasons I chose this deck is so that I can connect simultaneously an amplifier and a subwoofer to it. Let's connect the XLR cables. And let's connect the USB and connect the deck to my laptop. Now that I connected the deck to my laptop, let's go through its settings. So you have the inputs. First is USB, second is optical, third is coaxial. Then you have PCM filters, fast linear, slow linear, fast minimum, slow minimum, fast hybrid, appodizing, and brick wall. Then you have sound, standard, rich one, rich two, rich three, tube, tube two, tube three, 
crystal one crystal two crystal three original then you have dimmer auto display off brightness and display mode inputs sampling rate volume let's leave it at sampling rate and that's it for those who don't know what the DAC is, DAC stands for Digital to Analog Converter. This takes the digital signal from a TV via an optical cable and transforms it to an analog signal so that uh, an amplifier like the Behringer can decode it and pass it on to the speaker. So you could consider a DAC like a brain which processes the signal and this kind of amplifier as the muscles which delivers the power that you need. So why would you need a DAC? Well, older amplifiers and PA amplifiers have only analog inputs, so you cannot connect a TV, for example, to them. You will be needing a DAC to connect the optical out of the TV into the DAC, and from the DAC you connect via XLR cables or RCA cables to the older amplifier or the PA amplifier. This one has only one input, so you cannot connect multiple devices to it. I'll be connecting a TV, a computer, and a CD player to this DAC, and from the DAC to the amplifier, so that the sound is delivered to the speakers. Okay, now that I have all my electronics, I can finally mount them in my rack and finish the TV wall build. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.